Question 23. The displacement x meters of a particle moving along a straight line after t seconds is given by x is equals to, may read this one is not clear, x is equals to t cubed divided by 3 minus 3 t squared plus 9. Part A. Determine 1. The values of t when the particle is momentarily rest. You're given displacement, that is x, you're required to get values of t when the particle is at rest. One thing you're supposed to understand is that the particle will be at rest when velocity is equal to zero. But now we don't have velocity, we have displacement. Not this. When you're given distance, you differentiate distance to get velocity. You differentiate velocity to get acceleration. So in this case, we are going to differentiate displacement or what we call the distance. That is, velocity will be given by, we differentiate x with respect to t. That will give us velocity. And when you differentiate this function, this is what you're going to get. You'll get t squared. When you differentiate t cubed over 3, you get t squared, then minus. 3t squared, you differentiate that, you get 6t. For 9, you get 0. So therefore, velocity is given by t squared minus 6t. When the particle is momentarily at rest, velocity is equal to zero. So substitute velocity with zero. So zero is equal to t squared minus 6t. Now you're supposed to find the values of t. So uh, t squared minus 6t, you can factor out t. t is common. So you get t minus 6 is equal to zero. So we'll get two values of t t is equals to 0, that is 1, or t minus 6 is equals to 0, and for this case you get t to be 6. So the values of t when the particle is momentarily at rest is therefore t is equals to 0 seconds, and t is equals to 6 seconds. Part 2, the values of the displacement x meters by the time the particle comes to rest. We have already uh, calculated the values of t when the particle comes to rest, that is t is equals to 0 and t is equals to 6. So now we need to find the displacement at these times. So what will be the displacement when t is equals to 0? You simply take the expression for displacement, which is x, x is equals to t cubed, x is equals to t cubed uh, over 3 minus 3t squared plus 9. Suppose that. So just substitute. So when t is equals to 0, the substitute x will be given by. So why we have t, substitute that is 0. So you have 0 cubed over 3 minus 3. 0 squared plus 9. So for this, x will be 9 meters. So what about when t is equals to 6? The substitute x is equals to 6 cubed. Substitute. So t cubed 6 cubed divided by 3 minus 3t three squared like that plus 9. And for these, this is a calculator, you'll get negative 27 meters. So therefore, the values of displacement x when the particle comes to rest is 27 meters and 9 meters. Part B Determine the values of t 
when the velocity of the particle is negative 5 meters per second. Values of t when velocity. We already have the expression for velocity. We got velocity uh, in a part 1. Velocity is given by t0. V is equals to t squared minus 60. Now we are required to when v is equals to v is equals to negative 5 meters per second, you just need to substitute. So t squared minus 60, which is velocity is equals to minus 5. You're substituting v, we have v with negative 5 meters per second. So you notice that this one will form a quadratic equation. t squared minus 60 bring negative 5 to the left hand side you get plus 5 is equals to 0. So you simply need to solve these. So when you factorize these you're looking for two numbers this factorization whose product is going to be 5 and sum will be negative 6. So these will be negative 5 and negative 1 the numbers. So you have t squared so negative 6 written using negative 5 and negative 1 will be negative 5t negative t plus 5 is equals to 0. Factor out t. So this will be t minus 5. Then minus 1. t minus 5 is equals to 0. So t minus 1 multiplied by t minus 5 is equals to 0. So therefore t minus 1 is equals to 0 t will be 1 or when t minus 5 is equals to 0 t will be 5. So those are the values of t. So 1 second and t is equals to 5 seconds. Simple as that. Let's see. Determine the acceleration of the particle at t is equals to Two seconds. So how do you get acceleration? We get it after differentiating velocity. So we have the velocity which is uh, given by t squared minus 6t. So acceleration, acceleration will be obtained when we differentiate velocity with respect to t which will be 2t minus 6. So, acceleration therefore is equals to 2t minus 6. So now, when t is equals to 2 seconds, you just need to substitute. So, acceleration is equals to 2, substitute t with 2. And this one will give... Four minus six, and this will give negative two meters per second squared. So that is the acceleration. That is how you're supposed to solve that question.